guys, we're going to go to go boating today. So I wanted to try this thing out right here. Yeah. And I opened it up already. It's 16 ounces. It's a collapsible water bottle. But I put soda in it. And here it is right here in my bag. Um, I wasn't going to do a review on it. I was just kind of showing you. I think it's kind of neat. I got it at Walmart. I think it was five something. Um, so, anyways, I put ice in there and I put some soda in there. Because I got water bottles. So, I didn't really need it for the water. But, look. It don't leak. Well, kind of. Nope, it don't leak. Nope, it's not leaking. That's just the, the thing. So, that's pretty cool. And it's collapsible. So, it's kind of neat. So, I'm going to try it out and take it with me and see how I like it. So far, so good. So, I thought I'd just show you that. And when we get the boat going, um, Shea Bear is out here. He's getting the boat together. I should be out there helping him because he really shouldn't be pulling that boat. And... Uh, you need some help? Are you sure? Yeah, I should be helping him anyways. We're getting it all together. He is. And I'm filming. And uh, we'll be on our way. So stay tuned and hopefully we'll find something. so we can get in places that we not usually get into so it's kind of cool and we put Bruno's life jacket on it's a shark ah, cute. he seems to like it doesn't seem to bother him so we uh, we put it on it because the other day when we were out he saw something and went to jump for it so we thought it better be best to put it back on put it we've on developed about four more leaks since we've had it out on the Gulf Coast yeah oh no <laughs> yeah so yeah they're all rivets that went leaking before oh no <laughs> well we'll get it they're not well the boat's not falling apart it's just... right probably not a good place to take this kind of a boat there it's pretty in here, though, isn't it? Well, you're not supposed to have this boat on the Gulf Coast. <laughs> right. And we didn't go far, really. Thank goodness, really. No, we was only about... We was just on a mile. We was in it. Yeah. Yeah, so... About another half a mile we'd have been in it. Yeah. We probably would have... It probably would have got smoother the farther out we went. If we didn't get so many more leaks. <laughs> True. Oh, this is really pretty in here gorgeous. Is this where the restaurant is? Huh? This ain't where the restaurant is, is it? No. no. There's a boat thing there. That is cool. Very pretty. Yeah. Florida trees. They're cool. Anyways, not a very nice day really. It's overcast. It may rain. But that's alright. Maybe we'll get some fish, huh? Maybe. Yeah. We fished until 3 o'clock in the morning last night. And you did pretty good. You didn't get skunked. You got two fishes. I, I had a lot of nibbles, but I didn't catch one pretty good for as high as that river is. Yeah, because it's really, really over 
over water right now. So, see the water? So pretty. I love doing this stuff. So fun. I like doing it during the week. Nobody's out here. It's peaceful. That bamboo? Yep. That's bamboo right there. That's cool. Yeah. Let's just see what's at the end of the tunnel here. The end. Yeah, I think so. Mm -hmm. I don't think it curves. No, it don't go around. I don't think so. I don't know. Hard to tell. What? Hello. Okay. Mm, yeah, it does. It goes around somewhere. Oh wow, this is cool. Shallow, but really, it, it, we wouldn't be able to get in here with all all this water right now. You think so? It's really cool in here. Yeah, it does go around somewhere. This is neat. Oh. Now well, that somebody lives there and they got their boat. Boat right there. Dear. Yeah. That's why it's all still in it. That's some kind of water pipe there, isn't it? Oh, this is really pretty in here, though. They got the best spot. <laughs> and we're turning around because that's the end down there. Yeah. Very, very cool. Yeah, what do you think, Bruno? He's exploring. He likes to go boating. Don't you, Bruno? Yeah. <laughs> Here's all the different sounds. Last night it was pretty noisy in the over there across this forest. You heard all kinds of birds and the owls and they were just a going. It was a great night to be out there. The mosquitoes weren't too bad. Um, you know, it was cool. It had a nice little breeze last night. So it was pretty cool and nice. Florida stuff. Florida branches, trees, bamboo. My parents had bamboo in their backyard and uh, one house they had. That stuff can grow. Yeah, yeah. It, it really grows. Yeah. Yeah. It really grows. But a lot of people use it as a privacy fence. Well, yeah, they, they probably got more of them too. Mm-hmm. There's a nice view of the lake. It's been a while since we've been on this lake. Yeah. Yeah. It's, just, it's so choppy, it's hard to unload and load. It's really hard to load. Yeah. Get the front end up on the trailer, but then the back end wants to go towards the dock. Uh -huh. Like the back of the trailer, because there's a real rough out there. Yeah. Hey guys, when we see something else, I'll be back.
very pretty in here. She, trees are changing color now. I think it's pretty shallow in here though. That's cool. Very pretty. spot. Nicole. <laughs> Must have bugs or something there he's eating. Very peaceful in here. Very nice. Lots of pontoon boats. And someone's got a jet ski down there. Well, it's pretty down there. And down here are houses. With their boat. A little windy. There's a tree moving. I think it's down here. Wish we could find a monkey, you know? We hear them all the time, but I like to get it on a film, you know? Yep. That would be cool. But it's very hard because they blend in so easily. Pretty. Cool. Those are banana trees. They need to be cleaned up, but that's how they they die. Sometimes they turn completely black and then they'll start in the spring come back up. They're really not supposed to be up this far north. They're really... Huh? It's Bruno. Stay over here. Yeah, so... And then, then in the spring they'll, they'll come back. They're more, you know, further south. There we go. Well, that's a cool house, eh? I like that one. Can you buy that one for me, babe? Yep. Yep. That's me right there. I'm on the balcony waving at you while you're fishing. That's a cool little house. Got it all screened. Yeah. 
Now, if I had a house like that, I just would never leave. I'd be sitting back here, catching the breeze. Very pretty in here. He's made his own pontoon boat. That's cool. <laughs> That's cool as shit. Isn't that cool? Yeah. He's got a little dog here too. <laughs> the paddle boat. Yeah, look. Oh, that's cool. <laughs> that's neat. Julie's Boathouse. All guests must sign in. Ooh. Is that that? That ain't that place. No. Yeah. Huh. <laughs> Yeah. We were looking at a bed and breakfast. That's not that far from us, and uh, it's on, on what lake? There's a monkey in the tree. No. Right there. There's a monkey in There's the tree. Two, uh, two See, guys, I found the monkey. See the two babies. Yep. Monkey in the tree. Ah. It's Henderson Lake. Ha lake. Henderson Lake. That's where the uh, thing is the bed and breakfast so we were like oh maybe we could go and check it out you know and they're supposed to have a boat launch there they have so you could take a boat out there it'd be cool bed and breakfast never been to a bed and breakfast never we where that one where we stayed at where i did the cooking in sanford well, that was, that's not really a bed and breakfast. We had our own place. and That was cool, though. I really liked that. That was really nice where we went in Sanford and got that place. That was really neat. Wow, it's pretty in here. This reminds me of up north. Except you see palm trees every once in a while. Blue moon. It is so pretty. I hear an airboat. There's a lot of airboats that go on this lake. More than our other one. Little oasis here. Everybody's going to that tin roof. Bad thing with tin roofs, you don't get much cell phone service. This is really cute in here. Bruna hopping around. built themselves a new dock recently it looks like really pretty in here I like going in places like this this is what I like find things you know see things That's a nice dock. Yeah. If it ain't get out of, out of the wind. Yeah. Very cool.
swamp. Mm huh? -hmm. They real? Yeah. Uh, there's duckies. Huh. They're not real. Sure are. Are they? Real plastic. Oh, really? Yeah. Why would they have them outside? For decoration? <laughs> They're not real. Real plastic, yeah. Real plastic art. <laughs> Cute though. I thought they were real. <laughs> well, we got a bird house thing up there. Really pretty. Mm, gorgeous. Oh well. Mm. Got their fire pit down here. Cool. Yeah. <laughs> Looks like an old dock there. There's a house is way in there. Yeah, that's neat, huh? Hmm. Old shack. Yeah. Yeah, it does sound that. No, it's not that the other one. Oh, the other one? Maybe. This one looks empty. Oh, look. A little bridge. Isn't that cute? Yeah. You see that over there? Hmm? Oh, yeah. That's cool, too. A ah, cute little bridge. I like that. That's cute. That's what we heard last night. Is that bird. Right there. They talk a lot, those birds. That's neat. I still haven't charged this battery. No? Wow. Ha. Huh. Yeah, that's neat.
Yeah. Yeah, oh, that's really cool. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, look around. Yep. That'd be really cool. Another little bridge here. Ah, cute. Cross over. Are we? No, I thought it would come out. Flowers there. Airboat. Stop. Sit. Yeah. We're at the end. Yeah. Okay, guys, we're at the end, so we're going to just turn around. And when we get back out and we find something else, we will show you. The monkey's better, guys. That's so cute. <laughs> That's cute. It's really gorgeous in here. Really pretty. It looks like rain back there. Yeah, but it's it's really pretty. There's a house that was empty back there that I think I, I filmed it. I, I'm sure I got it. If you'd like to know how to find out about it, that'd be pretty cool. Needs a lot of work though. I'm sure it looks pretty. Get it yeah. It's Yeah. You put all the money into that. Yeah. It's pretty cool in here though. And you're not out nothing. Yeah. Be right on the water. Okay, we're almost coming out of here now. So, if we see something else, I'll put you down. But it is getting dark over that way. So, okay. We're going to go back in here and see what we can find. Yeah. But it's always so choppy, it's hard to get in and out. Of this area, yeah. It is very choppy. Yeah. yeah, it's kind of dark over there. Nice though. Beautiful in here. Just gorgeous. So. Maybe a little fish in here, maybe? You want to try? Or you just want to troll? Okay. We're just going to troll. Okay. Yeah. Oh, it's very windy. It was nice in there because it was, you know, all closed in. But once you come out here, it's it's choppy. Yeah. Like this thing be choppy as hell. You go to Horror Lake yeah. here and go to Horror Lake, which is 10 minutes up the road, and it's still be like last. It 
does look like rain. This wind's blowing it this way. Yeah. We'll see if we find something else. I'll put it on. We got the boat back at the house, and that was hell to try to do, wasn't it? Yeah, almost sank the damn boat. Yeah, it's very hard in Hernando's Lake. They call it our Arbor Lake. That's what it's named, but it's in Hernando's, and it's very choppy lake, so it's very hard to get in and out. Horrible. And you know, you got all these airboats. Usually, that's why we didn't like it with a GNU because we got pushed all the time. So we stopped going there until today to check out how it was with this boat. Well, it was better, but it's still very choppy and it's very stressful getting out and it started to rain. So that didn't help any, but it, you know, it is. It pushed me right on the sandbar. Yeah, pushed him on the sandbar while I was getting the truck and I mean, when you get, when you get a stuff, so. thrust motor. So, anyways. Trolling motor, trolling motor wouldn't, wouldn't do nothing. We are back. I think I had a great day. I think it was very nice in that cove. That was pretty I in there. I like the cove, but I oh, that, that was lake. really pretty. That lake sucks. But it's horrible. Anyway, so he he doesn't like the lake there. It's very choppy. It is very choppy. Well, you there. can't cruise around. You could almost surf on it. It's that almost. choppy. Almost surf on and it. And it's just a lake. It's yeah. not an ocean. Yeah. It's not a right. I mean it. It was just so bad. You can't cruise like we like to cruise, you know, half throttle, just cruise around the lake. Right, you can't right. do that there. Because you get to going like this and waves will come over the bow and over mm -hmm. the stern. You got to pretty much run wide open, stay on top of the wave. So what are we doing this weekend, babe? Boating. Where? On the Wicklacoochee River. Yay. <laughs> We're going to camp. Yes. Yes. I Attic. made reservations this morning for us. Yep. For three camping. nights. Yeah, we're going Friday night when she gets off work. Yeah, and then that way we'll put up the tent, hang around the area, and then... That way we get two full days. Yeah, Because we'll check-in's not till after three, so if we went on Saturday, by the time you get set up and everything, it's time to eat. Right. The we really don't have time to do anything, then all, yeah. all we got Sunday, and we got to check out Monday at 11. Right. So, so we figured 30 extra dollars. It's best that they, we They got that we their Yeah, they got their, their tents for their tents. They got it... Um, it's on a 16 by 16 uh, wooden deck thing, so you're out of the mud. Yeah. Now, what I don't like about them is snakes. Oh, crawling underneath? Yeah. Of course, oh. they can't get you up through, but um, but that's that's decent. You think putting a tarp down and then putting the tent on top of the tarp would work? Kind what? Well, I don't need no snake butt They're not going to come up through. I'm just saying when you step off, just look down and make sure there ain't a snake there. Mm. It's on a little island. Yeah, yeah. So. We have to take our luggage and walk it, right? Yeah. So we're going to take the dolly for the coolers. We're going to put the coolers on and we'll tie them up and push the dolly through. And, and the other, I have a suitcase that has rollers on it and his camera stuff's on rollers. So we can put a, pull them. So I think we won't have too many problems. We will have to put the boat in across the road though in the water but you can leave it in the water there yeah there's yeah. a dock there we can leave it in oh so we once it's it there. in there we're good yeah no oh, okay it's just across the road and you just you go across the bridge right and you're in the sumter county yeah and then there's a boat launch there there's a boat ramp there remember that's where all the stumps are yeah, yeah. and then, then i can unload the boat there and then she'll meet me across the across the road right the camp because we can park our trailer there with you know no extra money so and bruno no extra charge so hopefully we'll have a great weekend it was a great night last night we we fished until it was awesome three in the morning the weather was gorgeous I just gorgeous we'd catch anything really because the water was so high but i thought <laughs> yeah. oh it's so nice we'll get out and check it out and yeah 
I mean, why not? We're there, throw a line in the water. So we did that, and I ended up catching two fish. They were hitting. Mm-hmm. It just like far between. Like you get a good hit, and then it'd be half an hour, and then you get another one. So right. You had to keep casting out different spots to find them because the water's so high. Yeah. What they're doing when they get that high, mm -hmm. they're going back in into holes. You know, they're, you got to get back in the woods. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean to find a good hole to to fish out of, but. So we did. I mean, I was surprised we, we caught two. So. so we'll probably make him rest for the rest of the week since we're going to be doing Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. So I got I got, I got to work on the boat. Yeah. Tomorrow is rest day. I got to seal up the, those rivets. I got to work tomorrow so he can rest. I got to seal up the rivets. Oh. Because it's going to be sitting on all weekend. It's going to be on water. Right. So you want to make sure they're not going to leak. Yeah. So okay. I don't have. Well, this pump though does work. It's got a float in it, so mm. you can leave this pump hooked up, and once the water gets so high, it kicks it on. Right. It we had one in the Gnu. Yeah. Yeah. It was blue and white. Well, yeah, but it, it was just manual. Mm-hmm. That one's automatic, but I still may pick up another one for as cheap as they are. No, just yeah, a just a backup. Just in case, yeah. Because that one kind of acted funny. I don't know. Mm. But I checked it today, and it's running fine. Mm. You know, I'd hate to get a good rainstorm come up and go down our boats almost sunk you know and then yeah. we don't have a pump to pump it out and you don't want to do that in west Coochie. <laughs> not no <laughs> yeah you lose a boat there you're done yeah your boat's gone it, see ya it ain't just the boat you might be going to I mean that, that uh, well not if i'm not in it you know if we're sleeping we come out no but if we're we're sinking and we're in it and we have to swim <laughs> well the yeah. gators yeah the good luck problem is the current yeah. what my I'm not worried about sinking because those rivets ain't gonna sink us mm-hmm I'm worried about it coming a downpour right and that pump not kicking on right and I'm standing down there pumping this thing out and at three o'clock in the morning mm. which I'll probably be down there fishing anyway but probably you know just precautions you know right so it's gonna be sitting there on that river and if it does rain hard it's gonna fill up with water so anyways guys monkey says she's out for now y'all have a great rest of the week um and stay tuned we're going to be doing some filming over there i don't know i think we got wi-fi over there so we might do a live right babe yeah i think we will because somebody said it wasn't the greatest but i don't see why not i mean still technically in the city limits yeah we'll try it out and see if we can do it sometime while we're over there i'm sure so. we can get something yeah so, we'll, we'll do so check us stream. out and keep you know if you have nothing else to do or you just keep keep looking for can, our live if we can get so. a good service we'll, we'll get it going if we can get a good service we'll do a live stream fishing yeah that'd be cool you know yeah. off the dock there yeah that'd be fun yeah okay say bye bye guys thanks for watching monkey <laughs> <laughs> monkey says she's out for now y'all have a great week bye like and subscribe like and subscribe. Yes, I need it. Bye. I forgot this little clip here my review kind of kind of a review anyways I liked it. it it's pretty cool and you can attach it to things you know your backpack or whatever you want to use it for um, the only thing I found that when it's long let me bring it out a little bit um, when it's out long it, it let's see there's nothing in it so um, 
it's a little hard to hold. Hold on just a minute. There, it's a little hard to hold. You kind of got to hold it down here and drink this way. If you're up here, it kind of looks flimsy. But otherwise, I like it. I think it'll be handy. I mean, I can put whatever I want in it. Mostly for water, though. That's what it really is for. It kept it quite cold. Um, yeah. So, yeah, pick one up. If you're out and about and need one of these for camping and stuff. So, pretty cool. Anyway, so I just wanted to, to do that um, for a few minutes. And uh, I'm going to add this into the video. And so, I didn't forget. So, anyways, yeah, it just rained. Poured. Poured rain. So, so, we got home pretty good time. Anyways, there's the boat all wrapped up and waiting. Waiting for the next adventure. <laughs> Bye, guys.